Good afternoon and welcome to Grim by me. I've been outside in this beautiful weather. It was supposed to be forecasted really heavy rain today, but it didn't happen. So I've come out and I've done a lot of pruning and sweeping up. Um, the locusts have got even more flower buds now, so I'm really hoping that they get a good amount of fruit. There's just uh, heaps. So the whole three that are in pots are now flowering. So the other one was pretty fast off the off the rank, and now the other two have caught up a bit. Let's hope we get a good amount of fruit. That would be good. That would be second second year in a row. Mangoes are going okay. And the Amberella fruit have um, got a lot bigger. Two, four, six, seven. First time, two, yep. First time fruiting. So we'll see what they turn out like. It's a curry. But yeah, they're all going quite well. So I chopped um, some of the bananas so you can kind of leave. So you can see I've hacked hat there just so that I can get down there. <laughs> and also, more importantly, that they all can get some light. I've repotted a few that need it. Um, there's a lot more potting to do, um, but not today. Already exhausted. Uh, this apple was really high. I've trimmed that back and I'll probably get ready to move that down the coast. <clears throat> can see the bananas that I've uh, chopped. So all of that needs to come out. But yeah, there's heaps more light down here now, which will give some more growth to the plants. I repotted the tobacco and a few others. Found two that I had lost in all this. They've just gone really dry and woody. That's the plum that I am not climbing this year. So that fruit's in November. So I'm going to see how much fruit I can get without trimming it back. And um, yeah, the avocados are all going well as well. I pulled out two that were beneath the plum, which was a bacon, which is that one. And I repotted that up. Uh, it's quite huge. Biggest, actually. And in just another avocado house. So they're all kind of grouped together with a couple little sapotes there. Yeah, the plum kind of hides them a little bit for winter. This guy's been growing in a week since I filmed it. That's a star gooseberry. Yeah, must have uh, moved it in a really good location. Yeah, so already there's a couple more in front there that I've got to repot. And I'll be happy. Unfortunately, this apricot has come out of the pot and gone into the ground. It's hanging over the neighbor's fence. So probably have to do something about that. That's it there. Roots are under there. But um, yeah, getting there. Quite a few weekends of work still to be done to get it back under control. I guess that's the hardest thing with um, having heaps of pot plants. They are better off in the ground, but when you have a small property, you do what you can. And uh, yeah, I'll just have to get back those bananas. It's just going to take a lot of chopping. That's all the work that I did the other month. They're all going okay. Anyway, just thought I'd show you some progress. But yeah, opened up 
a lie enormously. Okay, um, yeah, I haven't really got much fruiting at all. Only the umbrella fruit and also the papayas, other than some limes budding. Not much activity. Anyway, thank you for watching this quick update showing the work that I have done today. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.